11,940 pounds as you see it here today. The now full-time RV warranted Jayco Eagle 336 FBOK landing here at Haylet RV. This is a really interesting model in that it took the front bath and half concept and flipped it on its head. They flip-flopped the living room to give us a camp kitchen in a layout and concept that doesn't usually have it. It also has this really interesting kind of mini loft in the bedroom. So it's giving us a lot of great qualities you can't find elsewhere, but it maybe isn't everyone's cup of tea. We're gonna share some of the highs and the lows as we go, and if you appreciate that kind of straightforward, no-nonsense approach, be sure to hit that subscribe button and join us as we go through your hail it in a hurry, floor plan in a flash. First though, a real quick little housekeeping note, although I don't know that I ever say anything real quick. Uh, this RV was originally ordered by and for a specific customer. While it was being built, which unfortunately had several delays just due to the way that nothing has gone according to plan in 2020, we received in uh, another Jayco RV in North Point that they said, yeah, we like that, we could make that work. So we allowed them to purchase that RV instead of this one that they had basically already committed to. Um, and when a dealer orders a unit for a customer, you can't always just call Jayco or the manufacturer and be like, hey, sorry, they don't want it anymore, you guys have to stop it. It was too far uh, along. But we said, it's a great model, we want it in here anyway. What I'm getting at is you will see uh, some bits of equipment optioned onto this RV that maybe we wouldn't normally do here at Halet RV. Like you'll see it has a residential refrigerator. Normally we don't tend to keep those uh, in stock with any great level of frequency. They have their own benefits and we have our reasons for doing what we do and if you're curious please give us a call and ask why. But I thought that this would be a really cool way that you could get to see what else an Eagle might look like other than just the way that we do it here at Halet RV and also it highlights the fact that if you don't like the one that we happen to have, it's your money, not ours. We're happy to get one built to uh, your preferences. So if you just aren't a fan of the one that we have here, give us a call and we'll get one built for your specs. And just like we did with this customer, if we need to be flexible and work with you, we're creative folks. We're a family owned place. We'll make it happen, guys. One of the really cool qualities that's maybe not obvious uh, at first glance is the fact that this RV basically shares the exact same living room as uh, the 357MD-OK and the 317RL-OK Eagle. Essentially, they just all kind of change once it gets past the kitchen. The living room here is essentially the same in all of them. Now, Eagles in the 21 generation have gone through some awesome updates. I mentioned the full-time RVing warranty. And in the living room previously, they did have a 15,000 BTU Whisper Air. But the bedroom AC was optional, and it wasn't whisper ducted, and that is no longer the case. These are now dual 15,000 BTU, dual whisper ducted Coleman AC units. There just is no quieter system out there. You may also notice they have adopted a completely carpetless design here, and to use matching lino in the slide floor that you see, linoleum, sorry, so I, I don't want to use jargon in case you're, I'm sure you're smart, anyway, uh, but... <laughs> To use matching linoleum in the slide floor that you're using on the main deck, you have to use a higher grade of linoleum so that it doesn't bunch and curl and crease and crack. And that's a good indication that you're looking at an RV here with some superior materials in play. Now in our little, you know, fast flash fly by, whatever we call it, I haven't figured that out yet, obviously. Um, 
<laughs> I had all the windows open to give you uh, a better look, but I do want to give you just, obviously you can see the, the night blackout shades here, and these are good for blocking out the sun, keeping out the nosy neighbors. Now the windows, of course, are tinted, and they do all open for airflow. Even the windows on the toothpick uh, sides of the sofa there open for uh, airflow. Down below here we have that uh, theater seat, and that is a wall hugger, by the way, so it's not going to gouge up your walls if you recline. And it's easy to miss, but that center armrest right there actually does act as a little bit of storage uh, behind those cup holders, perfect for things like if you're trying to keep your phone away from a grandkid for, you know, a little baby weekend or something like that, or... Um, you just want to keep the TV remotes uh, handy. Now, you see that black rectangle below the light switch, which, first of all, how nice is it that they gave us a light switch for over the side? Okay, you know how many RVs I'm in, or even in a luxury fifth wheel, you still have to go through and clickety-clack every single light fixture? I mean, it's not that it's a deal-breaker, but it is nice that you don't have to do that, and that's a textbook example of what I call eagle doing eagle things. But that little control pan I was looking at right there, that connects to the BM Pro system. That is basically the brains of this operation, kind of like my wife at my home. <clears throat> and it will activate different light panels and fixtures and features depending on where you find that uh, panel present in the RV. You'll find like one in the bedroom, bathroom, like there's different ones in different areas and they all do different things and they're context sensitive to where you find them. Now, uh, we are primarily a couple's floor plan here, but what's interesting, and I'll probably harp on this a few more times, if we look over here, you can see that we do have this really nice trifold sleeper sofa height of bed in the back. Now that could be good for guests, but what's interesting is the bedroom of this RV has an uncommon little mini loft. And that can make this an interesting alternative to the traditional bunkhouse model. Not everybody fits the traditional idea of camping. Not everyone wants a bunk model. If what you're trying to do is buy the last RV ever, like you're like, okay, I got kids now, or we might have grandkids every now and then, and uh, or a guest, it doesn't even have to be a grandkid, it can be an adult guest, you know, And um, but I don't wanna have to go buying a different RV later on. This is a really interesting alternative that can accomplish some of those goals, which I think is very, very cool. Now, um, the hinges are hidden, as you can see, or rather, they were before I just blew their cover. No more witness protection for these hidden hinges. And you can see how, like, a lot of times people say, oh, I don't like the, the white on the black look. Notice that's not black cabinetry. That is just a nice, rich, warm brown. Now, that brown accent around the entertainment is a little bit darker, obviously, than, uh, you know, the, the, the lighter trim with the, mm, it's not antiquing, is it called distressing on the farmhouse decor? I'm not good with home and garden words, I'm sorry. But um, it's, it's not quite a, a blackout. Now, I love the symmetrical look of their uh, JBL kind of Bluetooth stereo system down here. It has just a, a very attractive appearance to me. Now, something that's not blatantly obvious, though, is that Jayco does run HDMI wiring, so that if you do decide you want to go Blu-ray or Roku or Fire Sticks or whatever, easy to upgrade right there. Electric space heating fireplace down below and something I don't want to forget to mention is how both of these side stands you can see the green light down there kind of peeking at us like you know the critters in the cartoons through the woods you only see their eyes glowing well there's two USB plugs and two household plugs on both sides of the sofa so it doesn't matter where you're sitting where you're sleeping you always have an easy place to be able to plug things in whether it's a fan a light uh, a computer a tablet phones, obviously, or a CPAP machine. That's another thing is that this guest hide -a bed back here is even CPAP friendly. Now, maybe you don't care about all the guests and you just want to camp for the two of you. That's great. That's where this, uh, you know, the two chairs right here is going to be your best friend. But if you are potentially looking for family and friends to join you, the good news is that they got you covered here in this Eagle as well. First, you're going to flip this thing's lid, basically, with the help of that Easy Lift gas strut right there, which uh, kind of demonstrates a little bit of why I like to call the destination dining desk, a little storage pocket in there. Now, you can see that we've also got uh, some fold-away guest chairs. There's a pair of those. I call it a 2 plus 2 dining arrangement. You can hide those chairs in, like, there's several closets in this RV capable of use, uh, hiding those, plus under the bed. Eagles are good for full underbed storage, as we'll see. Now, you can also see a portion of the table that does not uh, lift up. Well, that thankfully, is an extension to give us elbow room for four adults, or, I don't know, four of anybody, frankly. And as you see, with that extended out, there is truly plenty of room for all four chairs around here. So this is, you know, really a couple-centric model, first and foremost, but it is very capable of entertaining uh, guests, or, frankly, 
even families. Oddly, this model has a surprising amount of sleeping capacity to it, which is kind of a cool thing. From here, we're just a hop, skip, and jump away to the kitchen. On the way, we're going to get a really good look at the top of this island right here. You can see in an eagle, your uh, kitchen counters are going to be all solid surface. You've got the uh, like bamboo uh, cutting board sink cover with the dish drying rack combo. And you might notice how you have like two faucets. One is your main sink high-rise sprayer faucet. And then one down here connects to the Jayco freshwater drinking system. Basically, this RV has, and we'll see it below the island in just a minute, um, its own um, water source specifically for just drinking. So that you don't have to go killing a bunch of storage space for bottles of water. You can have it built all right in here into the RV. It's separate from your freshwater holding tank. Um, it is completely separate from everything, and it's easy to swap has its own 12-volt uh, pump even, so it works whether you're in the parks, off-grid, and you might notice how there are some face-mounted outlets right there next to that island. There's there's actually, kind of like the hidden hinges, there's a lot of cool hidden features going on in one really compact uh, but really dynamite kitchen setup. So starting up top here, next to the microwave, just they had a pocket of space they weren't going to waste it now you might notice that there's a power outlet in there that is actually for the microwave now this is all hidden hinge cabinetry that i mentioned but it is also um pocket screwed lumber core styles i like that full wall backsplash right there i i, I try to be fair guys and rv manufacturers if you're watching this which i know you are uh because i i hear you talk about my videos all the time please start including a side splash next to that stove top right there Bruh. I just don't think you realize how often people ask me for something like that. So please start including a side splash. And folks, if, if you appreciate the fact that I'm willing to be fair like that in our videos here, please hit the subscribe button and join us because I'll always try to give you what I feel is a fair shake at anything that we have here. Now, great drawer space. You got uh, four normal drawers plus the big drawer below the oven if you're noticing behind these. But here's what's kind of cool. In the kitchens of an Eagle, you're going to get some nice residential soft clothes hardware on these drawers. And I don't care how many times I do it, <laughs> I'm such a kid, I never get tired of seeing those. And actually, we're just going to keep doing this instead of letting the magic wavy line come across the screen. I'm going to very carefully push that shut. You can see how, if you there you go, you got to bump it just right. It's like mama bear, baby bear, papa bear. Over here, in the corner, we've got a pantry. Is this the biggest pantry I've ever seen in an RV? No. Is it... Gonna get me through the weekend with my family? <laughs> Heck yeah. Especially with all the other storage that we have in here. So, I mean, it gets the job done. Now, one of the reasons I want to come over here, and this is one of the benefits of a residential refrigerator. If you watch a lot of our videos, you know that we're not always sweet on resi fridges here at Halo RV. But you know what? Let's take a chance to really, what is the case for a residential refrigerator? Let's, let's try to do this real quick, guys. Residential refrigerator. This is 18 cubic feet of cold storage versus 12 cubic foot of cold storage you'd find in an RV fridge. It does cool faster because it's an active compression cooling system, very similar to the 12 volt DC fridges that you hear me gush about all the time here in my videos. I love those things. They just don't make them this big yet. It is coming. I do think that these things days are numbered as bigger 12 volt fridges come into play. One of the other big benefits here though is that it does have an ice maker, which a lot of people love. Now, it is cool that it has the little water spout, but remember, you always have the freshwater drinking system in these Eagles. That's a standard feature. So the water thing in the fridge isn't, to me, that big a deal. Um, the flip side, though, it is one source only. It requires 110 shore power or a generator, meaning park power to operate. Um, so it's not off-grid friendly. Now, it does have an inverter, that's really to help keep it running when you're going down the road, though. So it is travel friendly. Um, the thing is also, though, if you lose power, you're going to eat your battery alive with that inverter very quickly. And ladies and gentlemen, um, service on these things can be difficult. Now, that being said, we don't see them with high frequency. But the best way I can say it is that if a resi fridge does have a hiccup, it goes down hard. And, and again, I hope you appreciate that. I'm willing to share the good and the bad with things. And you know what, I must have missed an extra overhead light here, indirect light somewhere. There's switches all over. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. I forgot. That is the switch for the freshwater drinking system's pump. I forgot they put it over there this year because last year it was down inside these cabinets. Speaking of which, that was a great accidental segue to the freshwater drinking system. You see the jug. It's um, It looks like one of those fancy French jugs from a company called Gouligan. But, um, you know, <coughs> Culligan. And... 
cool thing about this though is you could take this to like any big box store fill it up for pennies on the dollar compared to bottled water you see that they do leave us they include a little trash basket but you can include a bigger one some handy shelf space here for our dish soaps or maybe big baking pans and an extra bonus store here in the island just because hey why not why let anything go to waste right um i think we got the kitchen pretty much killed here let's mosey our way over to let's take a look at the bm pro system so this is like i said this is the brains in the command center of the rv and if you look at it it can do a lot of really cool things like we can control our climate stuff and i'll, and I'll tell you a little secret some of these menus let me see if i can find a good one you might have to scroll a little bit it's not always obvious but you can dim lights in different rooms like i could dim the this the living room lights here you might notice those flickering off and on and i can control them here anything i can do off this i can do off my phone you want to know my favorite part about this though it's not that if i wanted to i could control the air conditioning or uh uh the generator prep if it was present on this rv i love those features i do that being able to walk in and not have to do all of this but be able to operate lights or select slides and awnings and extension and retraction all right here i don't have to do this i don't mind doing it but i know that there's a lot of people like dude i just don't need all this tech stuff in my life i just want to camp and if we're being fair i do think the eagles kind of flirt along the line of glamping not camping but hey now, just like in the master bedroom, I knew I'd get the wrong switch. I knew I'd do that. You got a backlit little nightlight morning mirror right here, whatever you want to call it. And of course, our main cabin lights that I already blinded us with one time. And that is a full medicine cabinet. It's not just a mirror on the wall. Now, in the kitchen, we had solid surface. Here we have what's called thermal foil. It's a sealed edge pressed membrane. And that is a big adult size sink. But what I love about this, plenty of space around there. This is a great little guest half bathroom. Or, frankly, if you just, I mean, you could you could use this for your toothbrushes and stuff. Nothing says you can't. I like that little corner shelf over there, too. I don't know what to do with it, but I know I like it. <laughs> and great leg room here around this thing. This is a very decent, what I'm going to call, fluffy, friendly half bath. Now, a couple more things right before we jump upstairs. There is a handy handrail to get you up here, which sounds like something from Mickey Mouse Club. It's a handy helper tool. <laughs> well, um... Huh, okay. I just discovered I do a decent, not perfect, but decent Mickey Mouse impression. So there's something. A couple drunken octopus uh, coat hanger hooks here in the closet. And above, just what I'm going to call glove space, hat space. Why not space? Why let it go to waste? Well, in short, they didn't. And then there's the little kind of farmy antique clock up here. It's funny because it actually has some character scuffs in it to really kind of fit in with the i think it's called distressed cabinetry again i should really learn these words why do i suck with home and garden stuff <laughs> passing through that bedroom door i wouldn't normally do things in this order but uh this rv is not one that we would normally have built this way so why not do things in a weird way look at the height of that dresser it's it's awesome there's tons of space in there and then again eagles do have full easy lift storage below it now the one that we are looking at is outfitted with things like the full observation system, meaning rear camera, back, uh, yeah, rear and back cameras. Uh, it tells time in both London and England, you idiot, Josh. Anyway, it has rear and side view cameras with one consolidated uh, viewing monitor, which you might see the box for there. Now, the chairs that you're seeing, those will come included with that freestanding table all the time. That's a standard thing. But the observation system is not. It is a cool available option. We'll talk more about it outside, though. But check this out. 5 8 plywood bed decking here. The camera's not zooming in on that very well. Let me see if I can tell it to focus on that thing a little bit, just to give you an idea. There you go. Get to see the cross cut on that. That is better material. And definitely Jayco doing Jayco things. Now this one was built with the 70 by 80 king bed upgrade. Uh, it gives you a bigger sleeping space. You will shave down a little bit of walk around bed space, but here's the thing. They left you plenty. Like, I can still get around these no sweat, and as long as I'm pointing over here, just a little bit further, half twist, double sow cow, and you get to see that there is a power outlet next to each side of the bed. Now, remember those context-sensitive panels, control panels I was telling you about? You've got one right up here in the headboard. If you want to be able to control the bed lights and even outside lights and some things like that, you can do those things from here. Now, remember how I said earlier, Eagles are now dual whisper air systems. 
Now, uh, I get that the uh, Coleman AC company has an air called a Whisper air conditioner or something like that, and it is quieter than like a common Dometic. I absolutely acknowledge that. This is going to be another notch quieter still, and since Jayco has combined the two, there just really is no quieter air system out there. You've got 30,000 BTUs of quiet cooling potential here. Um, Eagles are and have been for several seasons now roof solar ready, and in this floor plan, if you want to install a charge controller, that is where it would be located right there. And here's another of those context sensitive panels I was telling you about. They're always in a very handy location, make a lot of sense. Now this thing up here, instead of making their half bath go all the way up to the ceiling, which doesn't really do anything, they decided to do this little mini loft. It's different, maybe this isn't for everybody. You could sleep a small kid up there. You could maybe make it a dog bed, a little cat cave. You could use it as what I call an attic or loft for storage space. But it has, uh, you know, a couple other things going on. If you notice down here, it does have a little built-in access ladder. If we pop that open and take a look up, one of the other things that you'll find out is the way that the uh, rails can actually pop right off there. So if you, uh, you know, need to get up there, down there, big stuff, in and out, whatever... Uh, it's got kind of its own little, you know, easy and easy out system, and it's pretty heavy duty. It actually slots in there pretty darn nicely. By the way, it is six and a half foot tall here in the upper deck. So as a six three ish person, I can walk around in here and have no headroom issues. If you choose to add some entertainment to your upper deck, that is where it'd be located, straight across from the master bed. We've already seen the dresser open. Now, um. Since this RV does have the uh, residential uh, refrigerator, which means it also includes a uh, inverter system standard, you will see that this is where our inverter controls uh, would be located in this floor plan. That does vary by model. Now, another neat little note is you see how this is the same sealed edge thermal foil stuff that we talked about in the bathroom. They never use a T-mold or like uh, kind of countertop here in uh, these Eagles. Uh, they will use solid surface or the, the thing that we just looked at there. Neat little note too, uh, this shower, as long as we're looking at it, you see that little blue light above. It has its own little light, night light, which is kind of cool. Um, again, I'm doing everything out of order today, and I'm doing an RV I wouldn't normally do it with this equipment package anyway. So let's do this bathroom in like reverse order. Why not? You see, we've got that easy uh, entry shower right there. Just easy step in with that corner shelf. Now you can see my footprints in there. I do apologize for that. The good news is you won't see them when you take the RV home because cleaning the RV for you is something we do at no additional charge here at Haywood RV. Um, as we uh, work our way around, this right here, I think is one of the biggest selling points for a lot of people of the 336 FBOK Eagle that you can find here at Halo RV, just like the one we're looking at. And that is the fact that most Eagles, it's one of the definition points, the, the defining lines between an Eagle and a North Point, combo versus stackable washer dryer prep. And this is one of the only, and I have to check, it might currently be the only Eagle fifth wheel that does have stackable capacity. But if you're feeling like strawberry shortcake and baby that just ain't your jam, the good news is you just have an insane chunk of storage capacity in there. Something else that's neat is the front closet, since they didn't have to bury a washer dryer prep into it, it does wrap around all the way here in the corner. And did you notice oh, the motion sensitive lights that we have there kicking on? Now you've got like, I call it like a shoe shelf, but I suppose like a mini kind of open face dresser up there in that closet. And as long as we're doing it, we might as well open everything else up to see all the storage, right? I'm <laughs> such an idiot. I couldn't find the power button on the camera. I'm sitting here going, where is it? Where is it? <laughs> um, now, a lot of front bathrooms, a lot of bath and half models are a dual lavatory, which is fancy dancy talk for two sinks. Woo. Well, most people go, I don't need two sinks. Well, here's Eagle doing Eagle things. They're cutting out stuff you don't need. They're keeping only the core, most important features in there and then incorporating a few extra things that maybe you hadn't thought of that you would love, like those backlights around those mirrors, just like the bathroom that we saw. Now, you've got a handy towel hanging rack over there, triple drunken octopus uh, boxing coat hanger jobs over here. And once again, you have yourself some excellent, excellent... Let me close this door to get this out of the way so you can see what I'm saying. You have... I mean, if you need more leg room than this, then guys, I don't know what to tell you. I guess you need to do your business in the woods. I don't know. 
And now a look with the slides closed, what I'm going to call travel mode or storage mode, however you want to think about it. I've got the lights off too. It's maybe not necessarily the prettiest footage, but I'm trying to give you a, a really clear idea of what this might look like in various usage states. One of the things that does work nicely with this refrigerator is that you can still like fully access the fridge portion over here. Now the freezer side, you're not going to be able to get to, and obviously it's a little bit tight. But as you see, you know, if I need to get in here and I need to get all of my fridge stuff for transit, which is probably what you need most of the time, you can do that. Now, uh, the uh, half bath here, obviously no lights on is not exactly the prettiest thing to look at, but we've already seen the half bath. You can easily get here. The bedroom, though, if you have the queen bed, it will be easier to get into. The king bed option that you see here, it does provide a little bit of a conflict with this bedroom door, but it's not enough to stop me from getting through here. I might have to turn sideways a little bit. You might actually be hearing my jacket kind of brush against the door, but I can get in here. Now, if I wanted to, I could crawl over the bed and I could get to the front bath. I know a lot of people don't like that idea, but remember, we can already get to that half bath. So, you know, mo most of the time you don't need to make a travel showering stop. And if it's a longer trip, you've probably made plans to stop somewhere and open some slides anyway. Now, I've done everything in a different order so far today. So why stop now? Instead of starting by the door or something like I usually do, I'm going to start with the outdoor camp kitchen since that is one of the more unique features and potential draws to this model. Now, the thing is, not everybody cares about like, hey, I'm not going to come out here. I don't know that I want to do a lot of cooking on that screaming hot burning Capitol Grill. I think it's hot, by the way. It'll burn your face off. Plus, you got the uh, Barley Popinator Jaybird edition down there to, you know, crack open the bottled water and barley pop, although you don't really need that for the bottled water, but whatever. Um, <laughs> the bottled barley water. You've also got this extra fridge here, which that plus the fridge inside gives this thing like uh, 20 plus cubic foot of total cold storage, pretty close to 21, I think. Um, uh, in here, you can see that you do have a 12 volt power plug. That's the circle thing we used to call them cigarette lighters, but we don't call them that anymore now, do we? Lots of outlet space out here as well. And then uh, this right here, this is a, basically it's a, it's a two plug USB hub but it can be used as a charging mount for a Furion lit Bluetooth speaker. And I'll tell you, that's one of those things. I think sometimes it's very important for somebody to, to be able to say, you know what, I was wrong about that. And for years, I, I think I was wrong about those. I was never, like, I thought, I thought the idea was dumb. And then I actually got my hands on one and I played with it. And I bought one myself because they are cool. Because they're more than just a Bluetooth speaker. They've got a lot of other functions. We've got a separate video on that if you want to know about them. Textbook. Jayco doing Jayco things. Eagle doing Eagle things over here with the uh, Zero G, as I call them, stable steps. Now, this is a bigger RV on a bigger chassis. So they give us the strutted system like a North Point, a Pinnacle. Uh, and with Eagle being yet another member of Jayco's full-time RV warranty lineup, it makes sense. Jayco now offers more models with full-time RV coverage than anybody else. Eagle, North Point, Pinnacle, Talon, Seismic, all of them. That extra handle there, that's more above and beyond things they're doing. That's not optional. Just the more ride steps, that's what they come with on an Eagle. But you still have the other handle here. So you've always got plenty of things to like hold on to. Other smart features include putting the speakers down here where they're not going to blow away the neighbors, probably close to where you'd actually have, uh, you know, your campsite. You got the double slam latches and the double magnet holdbacks above that. But notice that we also have a, uh, a big sealed hinge, a big protected enclosed hinge on that baggage door so that uh, especially here in the Midwest, where in one day you can get freeze and thaw and freeze and thaw. That will wreak havoc on those big piano hinges. So having that enclosure there is very handy. I would like to draw your attention to the awning, specifically the fact that there are two of them, which is something this floor plan did not used to offer. Models like this or the 317 or the 357 Eagle, they did not used to offer a second awning. That is something that has been updated in more recent years. They actually had to re-engineer the slide face to find a mount point to make that happen. But they did it. I love it. Now, the, uh, I don't have them turned on currently, but on the nose, they don't just have accent lights. They have these like orange lightsaber glow beams that I'm watching a lot of other brands suddenly start to copy. That first uh, kind of came into the RV industry here in the mainstream in the Jayco Seismic series. And uh, since then, it's kind of really started to penetrate through a lot of different brands, especially at Jayco. And they're orange specifically due to the fact that that means they are uh, DOT approved. You can have some orange lights going outside if you happen to leave them on uh, in the evening. 
um, while you're driving. Obviously not ideal. Now, if you notice the brackets on the face of the slides, these are all slide awning ready, which is kind of cool. Um, and since this thing has such an expanded upper deck, this has a basement that truly rivals something like a North Point or Pinnacle. It is absolutely massive down here, and this is not even all of the outside storage. A quick note though, if you look over there, you see a little tire pressure gauge. <laughs> I remember the name of it this time. I totally bombed that last time. Motion sense light, like we saw in the closet, TV hookups and outlets. If we get down here and look up a little bit, you see that metallic heat plenum. That is also what runs through the main floor of the RV. It is a far more direct effective heating system as compared to dryer flexi hosey kind of things. It does not lose airflow the way that those other ones do. And I get that not everybody likes the floor vents, but fact is guys, they heat the RV better and there is zero question about that. There just is no debate about it. That right there is the inverter uh, for the uh, residential refrigerator that uh, again goes right along with it. Up here we've got our auto leveling controls, more motion lights because why have them on one side of the RV and not both? And super easy to reach our battery disconnect, but it's smart. All this stuff is up out of the way so that you just have this wide open, unobstructed cargo space. Now over here, because it is such an expanded upper deck, they had more room still. They said, we ain't gonna waste it. So they put the docking center over here and it does include, you can move this around uh, next to the door side of the RV as well or get a second one. Little coily hose with that little sprayer faucet on the end there. There is a simple side mount solar prep plug in there but you'll see that the RV does have roof solar prep. We'll get on the roof in a minute. More outlets, more lights. And what are they doing with this space right here? Anything. It's what I call why not storage. I call that the, the tool chest right there. But I mean, frankly, you can put more big totes in there. Um, over here past the sewer stuff, below the black tank flush hookup, we'll take a little look down underneath and you won't see much, but Jayco does clock in and some of the best proven, tested, cold and hot camp data available out there. And right here, we see our Goodyear Endurance 16 inch radial tires. Uh, that is a best-in-class feature. A few other brands in a very limited fashion have begun to start using what Jayco's been doing for a couple years. Now this door may or may not be on the RV that you come to see at Halo RV. And the reason being, if it is outfitted with the residential refrigerator as this one is, this is an access panel for service reasons. Jayco has made sure with their residential uh, refrigerator supplier, and remember, I, I said that sometimes we can have service concerns with those at Halo RV. This addresses a lot of those for us. It does make me feel a lot better, and I'm actually very excited to see how this performs. Um, now, don't get me wrong, hopefully, we don't see this RV back for service, but if we do, and if it does happen to be fridge stuff, I do think that that access door will be a very, very useful thing. And that's a detail that's easily missed when you're comparing RVs. If uh, you're looking at another one that does have a resi fridge, I would make sure it's got itself an access panel back there. That will potentially save a lot of trouble. Well, some people don't realize to get to those refrigerators sometimes to, to do work or swap them out, sometimes you literally have to take an entire slide out of an RV. I don't want to do that. I think that simple, inexpensive access door is going to circumvent a lot of need for things like that. But again, ideally, we don't have to worry about any of it. 3,000 pound rated rear towing hitch with safety chain hooks and you see the four-way flat wiring harness over there. Eagle was first in class to do that, and suddenly here this last year, you're just watching everybody get on board with it. Now this RV has, I told you, the observation system. If you're looking, it has a full rear view camera, and I walked right past the side view cameras. I will have to try to get you some supplemental footage, maybe put it, say, in the upper right corner of the screen <coughs> right now so that we can make sure folks get a good look at that. But that is an optional bundle that you can put on these Eagles right from the factory. Thing is, we don't usually do a lot of that here at Halid RV because our parts and service center can just as easily apply it for basically the same money. Um, but this one already has it on it because again, this was originally a custom order. So remember again, the one we're looking at today, a little atypical from what we have at Halid RV, but another good example of the fact that it don't matter what we like, it matters what you like and we'll get it however you want. Let's talk J Smart Lighting while we're talking cameras. So that stands for signals, markers, and reverse travel. And the thing is, that's an Eagle first, and I don't really know of many people in the industry doing it yet. Long story short, let's say you flip on all your right-hand turn signals. All of the lights on the right side of the RV are going to blink along with that. So, someone's going to say, you know what, we're just going to go look at the camera now. We probably already saw it, but we're going to look at it now. Someone's going to say, okay then, if this light is blinking, and that camera is attached to the light, 
then isn't the camera going to lose power? And the short answer is no. Jayco ran separate wires for each device. This can blink and operate completely independent of this device. They are uh, pretty smart that way. And you know what I like? They did it right the first time. They didn't send these out in the field and go, oh crap, we screwed up, sorry, we'll fix it for the next one. They did it right the first time. And we're gonna end today right on top of our game. <laughs> on top of the eagle, get it? Anyway. Um, we're gonna talk about some construction information. One of the things I really like about Jayco's is the consistency. From Whitehawk to Eagle to North Point to Pinnacle, the construction is all but identical. We have that heavy duty plywood decked Magnum truss roof system with the thicker roof trusses rated for more weight load bearing capacity on this roof than anybody else in this class. Uh, there's plenty of great roofing out there. Don't get me wrong. It's just that Jayco's are built a little heavier in that regard. It's one of the reasons they're a pound heavier, a dollar more. Jayco's not usually the cheapest option out there. There's something that's really good for more long-term serious use and ownership, high frequency, high towing volume. Um, you've got your uh, laminated aluminum studded uh, sidewalls, aluminum studded floor with 5 8 tongue and groove plywood floor decking. Very heavy duty stuff. And as I mentioned previously, they have one of, and it could be argued probably one of the very best hot cold insulation camp packages out there, especially with the revamp to the white exterior and roof membrane with the roof attic vents and all the radiant barrier work that they're doing with the double big air units. This is, this is an RV that will handle just about, I mean, it'll handle any, I'd throw it up against any other RV. I feel that confident about it. If I was buying an RV today, Eagle is one of the fifth wheels that is on my personal list. I, I, I'll tell people all the time, I am personally very sweet on Eagles and Montanas. I, I say that without hesitation. They have earned my confidence and trust. Anyway, uh, roof solar prep plug, standard feature here in this model. Jayco does have a uh, uh, Overlander solar package option, but... Folks, there's, there's a ton of room out here. Um, we have some uh, previous Halid RV customers who own a 336 FBOK who full-time in it, and they've just they flooded the roof with all kinds of solar panels. They want to go off grid, go anywhere, run the airs. They can do anything they want, anytime they want, any place they want. One other quick note, the WineGuard Air 360 antenna system we're looking at, you can add the WineGuard what's it called, gateway, connect, I don't remember, uh, LTE, like Wi-Fi router extension job to that if you are so inclined. That's stuff we can assist you with in our parts department. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. They're heavy handed on their seals and they give me good feels. <laughs> and again, if you appreciate how we're willing to share the good with the bad, with the ugly, with everything in between, please know we always try to treat you fair here at Halo RV, which is why we don't do hidden dealer fees. If that sounds good to you, give us a call. I don't care where you live. If you're near or far, they're on wheels. We can get them from here to there. We're happy to get you shipping quotes to anything, and we only do everything at Halid RV. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone. This is actually filmed at the very beginning October of 2020, and we have had such an insane year. We normally, last year, we had like six, 700 campers in stock. And look at this right now. <laughs> I know people say, well, how good's your pricing at Halid RV? Uh, well, <laughs> We wouldn't be selling campers like this if we had bad pricing. We took the opportunity to actually do some lot improvements and repaving some things while we had the open space. Hopefully, next year, when we get another one of these in, we'll be gussied up a little more for you.